Canada's newest industry-leading innovation is about to take off and is going to be moving at hyper speed. A Toronto-based company called Transpod has proposed building an ultra-high-speed hyperloop transportation system connecting Calgary to Edmonton, which it calls a Fluxjet, a hybrid between a bullet train and a jet. The new transportation line will utilize ultra-fast electric hyperloop pods capable of reaching speeds upwards of 1,000 km per hour, or approximately 620 miles per hour. Each individual pod will be able to carry 54 passengers and would cost passengers 44% less than a plane ticket for the same distance. The pods will travel inside a protective tunnel or guideway at exceptional speeds and will be kept afloat within the tunnel through a series of magnets. The company claims that this new Hyperloop system is based on a smart infrastructure technology aimed at significantly reducing maintenance costs. The company recently unveiled a scaled-down version of the Fluxjet, where it demonstrated how the vehicle would operate during a takeoff and landing. The company has so far secured funding to the tune of US $550 million. A feasibility study has put completion costs at US $18 billion. The next phase of the project is expected to see more high-speed tests and obtaining regulatory certifications. Feasibility studies have also found that the Hyperloop system could reduce the province's carbon emissions by 636,000 tons per year. According to the company, the system is based on electromagnetic propulsion of vehicles within a protected tube guideway, whose air pressure is reduced and controlled for improved performance at high speed. The tube environment is designed for levitation systems, stability systems, and safety support systems to permit multiple transpod vehicles to run simultaneously with high-frequency departures. The Hyperloop system itself is not a new technology. Elon Musk first introduced the idea in 2013. Since then, multiple companies have announced or unveiled various Hyperloop transportation projects around the world. In November 2020, Virgin Hyperloop One successfully launched a prototype of its two-seater Hyperloop, which went 500 meters with speeds upwards of 172 kilometers per hour in 6.2 seconds. Virgin Hyperloop also partnered with UAE-based company DB World Cargo Speed to create a cargo-based Hyperloop to transport high-priority, time-sensitive medical supplies and electronics. Dutch company Hart won the 2017 Hyperloop competition with a Hyperloop system design that would enable connection to all European cities by allowing its vehicles, via a switch, to seamlessly pass from one track to another. Nivomo of Poland also unveiled its plans to build its Hyperloop transport system, but they are going at it using a step-by-step -step approach. The company will first build a partial Hyperloop train system using magnetic levitation over an existing railway track at slower speeds of 412 km per hour. In the second stage, the company will transform this train into a vacuum system called a hyperrail with slightly increased speeds of 600 km per hour. The last step will be to create brand new tracks for the Hyperloop to enable speeds of 1200 km per hour. In May 2019, The Boring Company, founded by Elon Musk, scored a $48.7 million design and build contract to construct an underground loop system for the Las Vegas Convention Center. The Boring Company already dug a test tunnel underneath SpaceX's office in Hawthorne, California. It is currently being used as a research and development facility. And of course, Transpod, with its Canadian Fluxjet project, is expected to commence construction in 2025. Let me know in the comments section, which is your favorite Hyperloop project? If you have any Hyperloop projects that you want to mention, which is not covered in this video, feel free to tell us about them. Thank you for watching.